Helena, as I came out of the tube today, there you were hurtling towards me on one of these fantastic new um, moving posters. Really? Which, it actually looks something like something out of a Harry Potter film. It's oh, a moving one. A what moving one. Where was you? Um, it was actually at Bond Street. I've got to go. You've got to go and see it. And I just wondered, you know, well, you haven't, if you haven't seen it, but what about the, the rest of the anticipation for, for the film? Have you found that they, the excitement has been building a bit more on this penalty, for this penalty? Yeah, film? I think people have been. You know, it's really nice when people are so excited and it's sort of like you've got, you know, um, and, you know, that it's just across the board. Children, I just love the fact that, you know, most of them are young people um, and that they're, they're excited and, you know, I brought my little niece last night and she said, it's the best thing ever, you know, it's their enthusiasm, you do it for them, you know. Well, let's just talk a little bit about Bellatrix, and she is one of my um, favourite characters. I think I relate because I have that kind of wild hair myself. Yeah, we like hair. <laughs> we like big hair. We like big hair. But, I mean, I think you play her with this sort of wonderful, menacing coquettishness as well. What do you relish about the role? Um, I think I've relished... Um, well, I love the teeth, to be honest. <laughs> I've loved getting dressed every day and, um, and getting into all the gear. And I love the fact that I've been allowed to just unleash my total mad inner child, you know, and total anarchy, and that nothing really, no choice. I mean, anything goes. Um, it means that you have to kind of be on the ball, so you can't be lazy, and you've got, she's never laid back. She always requires a lot of energy. Um, but it meant that I could just be really inventive because it, you know, anything or anarchic, you know, and try. And David Yates, um, you know, gave me, I trust him enough to just go for it. And, um, but he was really exacting too, you know, he wouldn't let me get away with. So she, she was just fun, you know, there were lots of different elements. She's meant to be a bit sexy, but sometimes she's meant to be revolting, she's meant to be child. It's like lot, playing lots of contradictions, I think that's the thing. Yeah, I wanted people to feel like, oh, what are you? Are you actually quite attractive or no, not, you know, you know. Or and you made such an impact with Order of the Phoenix. I just wondered how much of a challenge was it sort of turning up the volume a notch each time in all, in all of the four? Well, David said that he noticed that I was better at it in the last film. And I said, well, yeah, it probably is because it takes a bit of time to, for her to settle in. And after one, I think one of them, I just had a baby, so I was completely, you know, out of it, frankly. And the other one, the first one, it was quite hard to find her. You know, there were lots of ambitions. But it's so funny because he does change. Because I started off speaking a quite posh accent, and I noticed in this last one, although it had it had gone really quite Cockney, because I was speaking to Nick Moran opposite Nick Moran, and I was just like, "Where is she?" I said, "Well, I did start off it, you know, she was a pure blood and heiress going, and then so it's just like whatever. Bellatrix has her own. <laughs> She's going to be doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> go Birmingham soon. Anyways. Well, I mean, I'm a grown woman, but Voldemort absolutely terrifies me. And I just wondered what for you makes him one of the great screen villains? Because, of course, the Ray Fiennes who plays him is the most beautifully, quietly spoken gentleman in real life, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think containment, contained rage is really scary. And ta properly channeled is really scary. And I think Rafe is brilliant at that. And he's amazing and, and really mesmerising. Um, as Voldemort. I think it's the no-nos that does it for me. <laughs> and time just for a, a little bit of reflection. What fond memories will you take away from the, the making of this? this I think relationships with all of them. You know, I, um, I loved all my different relationships and friendships that the people I got to know, Jani, the costume designer, Amanda and Lisa, the costume and the hair and the, I mean, makeup and um, all the runners. I mean, Matthew Sharp, who's the most amazing second AD, um, uh, and his humour and Jamie, the first, and all Eduardo, all the, you know, I mean, there's such a massive amount of people, um, quite apart from the three Davids. The laughs, we had a huge amount of laughs. And then Dan and Rupert and, and then Emma and seeing them grow up. Um, and all the other actors. It's been a privilege to be part of it. It's a phenomenon. And, you know, it's so lucky that people are enchanted by it, you know. Job well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>